I'm Amir Puya, and I'm gonna show you what a day in my life at Texas A&M looks like. It's gonna be a busy day, so stick around. Let's head to campus. The first class that I TA for takes place in Harrington Tower, if you're familiar with campus. Class usually starts at around 9.35, so I try to be there about 15 minutes earlier. TA, I have several responsibilities. First, I need to make sure that all the assignments that have been submitted are graded on time and that the students are given the required feedback. Now, trust me when I tell you, this can become overwhelming and pile up quickly, especially if you have a large class size. So there's honestly no room for procrastination. First class is over, we head on to our next gig. This is Dr. Lynch one of the professors I TA for. She's without a doubt one of the educators that has made a huge impact on my professional teaching, showing me the ropes when it comes to teaching at the university level. On our walk, we talk about a wide array of things, but as this was close to the end of the semester, I asked her, And how do you feel about the semester coming to an end? It always feels like a relief. Right. Because we did our work and it's a Absolutely. lot of work. Absolutely, yeah. But it's bittersweet you say goodbye to the students. Exactly, goodbyes are kind of hard, especially when you like the students that you're teaching to. Exactly, and they're so full of personality, and we may see them again. We right, may not, not see them, see them again. again, exactly. But, um, it's an exciting time of their lives. Yeah. Other than grading, I'll also make sure to share my opinions, thoughts, and any relevant experience with the class in regards to the lesson, just so that they have different perspectives. Occasionally, and also depending on the lesson, I'll also sometimes deliver and teach the actual lesson itself, something that you'll get to see today. After the first two classes of the day are finished, I usually have lunch, which I typically bring from home outside the next building I have to go to. Since I don't have much time in between the classes, I can't warm up my food, so I have it as is. On the days that I'm teaching, like today, I make sure to eat because the last thing that I want is to be hangry and teach. As the students come into the classroom, I make sure to play some lo-fi jazz background music. No scientific reasoning to it, but I think and hope that they enjoy it. The lesson for that day was technology and language learning, something that I'm passionate about, so I decided to share with them some of the apps, games, and resources that I've recommended to my own language learners. Almost all the time, I like to ask the students about their opinions on the topics that I present, to see what they think and what experiences they have. The fourth and final class of the day is similar to the previous lesson. It's the same exact content and information, just a different group of students. Once class is finished, I head back to my office, and of course, this would happen. I'm going to be honest with you. At this point of the day, I am absolutely exhausted. So I usually head back to my office and take a nap before I actually have to go to class again. As I began to nap, two things dawned upon me. One was the fact that I'd left my lunchbox in the previous class, and second, that I was starving. Trust me when I tell you, teaching burns a lot of calories. I decided to grab a wrap from Salada. Now, I don't know what's in their dressing, but it makes the sandwich so darn good. Like, you could literally make the same exact wrap at home, but it would never turn out as good as theirs. While I was eating, I overheard the guy in the table in front of me calling the emergency room looking for his friend. If he's watching this, I hope that he was able to find his friend. I finished lunch and walked back to my office. Here's what I will say. While I do love the fact that a and has an absolutely huge standalone campus, walking around is not ideal and convenient because things are located so far from each other. And then more importantly, when the weather gets humid, it is not ideal. 
you feel like you're walking in a sauna. So I am pacing back in order to make it to class. On to my own class where I am finally the student. This is a qualitative research methodology course. What I love about the class is not only the content and instructor, but the snacks that are offered as well. And class has come to an end. Now that class usually finishes at 8.30, but we got out a little bit earlier at 8. And here's the one thing that I like about summer and spring, is that since days are usually longer, it's not pitch black when you come out as opposed to fall classes. I'm not sure if that's the case for my program, but all of my classes or the majority are from five to eight in the afternoon, which really takes a toll on you after a really long and demanding semester. First thing I do when I get back home is take a shower and then... A friend of mine gave me a call and he said he's going to Buffalo Wild Wings to watch the NBA game. And you know I can't say no to food or basketball. So let's get going. I told you this was my first time at Buffalo Wild Wings. Would you believe me? Now on Thursdays, apparently they have this deal. So they match the number of wings that you buy. And then we also got to watch the NBA game. And that brings an end to my day. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave me a comment telling me what you thought about this vlog. I am actually pretty exhausted. So I am going to pass out. If you've made it till the end, I hope that you've already liked the video and subscribed to my channel and I'll see you around.